Today we'll be looking into what you should look for when finding a breeder for a Newfoundland. Decided on bringing home a Newfoundland, it's already a huge decision. So we want to make sure that you are supported in the next stage of your journey to being the perfect Newfoundland owner. Welcome back to the Newfoundland Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about Newfoundlands. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. So let's get into it. Newfoundlands are in the top 70 dogs to own in the UK. So there are hopefully many options of safe breeders to source your pup from. You will no doubt have done a lot of research into this individual breed. The Newfoundland is so lovable and easygoing as well as being full of energy. They're a huge ball of care and loyalty that I'm sure you're so excited to share your life with. As well as researching the breed, it's of course important that you do your research into breeders. As there are unfortunately many people out there who would rather run a money-making business than breed healthy and well-rounded pups. Always make sure you meet your pup at least once before any exchange of money is made. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Seeing a fluffy Newfoundland online at a surprisingly low price can be extremely tempting but do be careful as it can most likely be too good to be true. As well as meeting your pup you will want to meet as many other members of their family as possible to get a well-rounded view of their temperament. Meeting the mother will help you gain an insight into the probable personality of your pup when they grow up. It will be important to see your pup around others in the litter as well, as socialisation should start as early as possible. Newfoundlands especially are very active and excitable as little pups, so seeing a breeder who is getting them used to being around others will show that they're giving proper attention and care from the start. They can also quickly pick up training techniques, so seeing a clean environment with routines and practices is a huge encouragement over a manic setting. When your Newfoundland is with their mum, they're more likely to be acting like themselves. Seeing them only when separated will mean that they are very vulnerable and can behave differently. Meeting the parents will also help lead to important conversations on the health of the litter. It's vital that your breeder is able to provide up-to-date information on scans and vaccinations that your pup and their parents have had. There are certain health conditions that mean dogs shouldn't be bred, so you'll want to make sure this isn't the case with yours. Knowing the health of the mother, how many litters she's had and how old she is will also provide more insight to their intentions of the breeder. Newfoundland should only breed a maximum of four litters by a certain age due to rules laid by the kennel club. If you have any qualms or worries when planning a visit or whilst you're on a visit to your pup, you should always feel comfortable to ask questions. Bringing home a Newfoundland is a huge undertaking. In. quite literally they're massive and so wanting to know as much as you can before doing so should be expected and understood by any breeder if you need a few visits to have time to think of any of the questions that should always be acceptable questions don't need to be only on your specific pop there's also questions about the breeder's approach that you can ask finding out how long they've bred newfoundlands for and uh, what draw the breed has to them will really give an insight on their background as well as being an exciting and interesting conversation about seeing newfoundlands grow and develop in fact you will hopefully have a breeder who has a keen interest in what your plans are with the pop don't be dissuaded or offended if they ask you about your intentions and home life as they want to know that their litter is going to a safe home. Getting on well with a breeder can be really important and helpful for you as you will be able to stay in contact with them over the course of owning a Newfoundland. 
If they're nearby, you can visit more regularly or join for walks. If you're a first-time owner of a Newfoundland, that can be a real source of support for you to gain insight over the months and years. A breeder who is helpful and open to communication shows a level of commitment to their litters, and that reliable attitude will most likely mean that they have ensured to the best of their ability that their pups are cared from from the very start. At the end of the day, your breeder can't be expected to carry the brunt of any behavioural issues you may have with your pup. Making sure you have puppy-proofed your home and are ready to get straight to work with your training and socialisation, carrying on the work that the breeder will have started. Be ready for an adjustment period as they become used to their new forever home and to their new owners. No dog is so perfect that they don't need any training, unfortunately. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Newfoundland videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Newfoundland Show.